<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Evil Laugh Gaming. Today we are playing more Skyrim, and we're off to... Where is it? Here we go. The Throat of the World. Yes. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time womb. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Okay. Well, that's that then. Um. I guess, right here? Um... Here we go. to our challenge. I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfo. Sorry, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, we'll not need to deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me, Taludis, Anni, him hind palif, Zu'u hindan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day! Go off!
with older bones than your own. We break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. Did it? Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Okay. Very interesting. Where is it? There it is. Wait, did I miss? How am I supposed to get a good shot at him? I think we got him. Ooh. No, you stay down, sir. Get back here.
Here we go. Come on. We're almost there. Oh, jeez. Health, 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 health. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um. Yes. Come on. Um, please, please, please. Yes. Oh, that was close. One, I guess. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Nili Vrachin Moro. True, this is not the final Krongra victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Need to find out, find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? The Yoro of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm, yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Hmm. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. In the Master of the Greybeards, do others come here to train? I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin, others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. 
It is enough for me. All right. Zoom Ark Mora. The other stuff we already knew. Now we got to talk to the Jarl. Okay. Wait, where is he? Hey, wake up. Hey. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yeah, I need your help. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Um, uh, you know... I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. No, I need your help. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way to stop the dragon attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat was worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now, what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. I, Hrothgar, is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngar about hosting the peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Cool. Let's get out of here. You need to leave. Yeah, we're leaving. Stop by the old house, which is somewhere around here. I think, as usual, we're caring too much, but also we should, uh. Actually, isn't the apothecary around here? 
You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Hmm. Nope, not the temple. Nope. That's okay. Oh, because it's right there. No, 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 no. We will wait till morning. Yo, you're late. Come on. There you go. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Yeah. What do you, need, my what do you have for sale? Look. Potions. We need generic health potions, please, and thank you. I will take all of those. Uh, oh. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? No. Here, you can have. I don't need that. Come okay. back anytime if you need a remedy. Sounds good. Not that way. Just kidding. This way. All right, now. To, where is it? Here we go. Hi, Hrothgar. Talk to me. Aldrin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need you, your help, to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Your old Brungulf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay, are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Okay. Breath and focus. There you have it. So. Let's go talk to... Who do you want to talk to first? I guess we'll go to Solitude first. Close, but you look like you might. The Radiant Raymond has a large selection. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yes. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Also, yes. I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. 
Um. I helped Hadgar escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Hadgar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on- Speak with Legged Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're con convening, convening a peace council at High Hothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Um, hmm. Dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, come on, bro. By all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from yeah, these dragon yeah, attacks. Yeah, they are. Fair enough. Fine. We're driving the storm cloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Uh, you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Why, thank you. For all the good it will do. Now let me beat this game. That's what's going to let me do. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawn's Wait, winter holds support him. You. It's not. Are they reforming the Dawn Guard? Okay. Now. Huh? I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Galmar. He handles the new recruits. That's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Galmar. What does bring you to me? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? He wants to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the Dragon Attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. General Tullius has already agreed to attend. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? Okay. If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long? Okay. That's that. Now, where do we need to go? Back to the. Yes. Is 
So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay. Um. There we go. Let me through. Yes, no. Oh, okay, fine. There we go. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. We have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Mm. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold <coughs> Concord Act. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. What's the harm? Besides, Toy doesn't really want her here either. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll have to give ground later. Feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to, to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in 
in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely be out of character. I want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. How about Riften? Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with that? If he's right about Alduin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now. Back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us and take Idgrod Raventhorn with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Hmm. <sighs> I... I... We have to let him win something. We'll let him have this one. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. 
The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, no mind. We have a lot Okay, work. I'll take it. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. That makes sense. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Fing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm afraid that it's a suit. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Yeah, we already know. Alrighty. Well, we'll call this here, and next time we'll trap a dragon. Thanks for watching.